These University of Louisville Medical School students are boarding a Delta plane to, well, nowhere actually. On this night, the plane has been turned into a cramped, single-aisle medical emergency simulation training lab. Today we are practicing in-flight emergencies aboard an actual aircraft. UofL is the only school in the country offering this unique training as part of a disaster medicine certificate program. On this night, medical school staff give a 45-minute lesson to the 35 students on the fake flight. In the U.S., there's one medical emergency for every 604 flights that are taken, and odds are it's some point in your flying career, you'll have to respond to some sort of uh, overhead page that says, is there any doctor on board the flight? Then they set up seven stations, seven mock emergency medical situations that might happen on a plane, like the passenger who has a drug overdose in the bathroom. The students are told to try a dose of Narcan, and when that doesn't work immediately, some oxygen. So our overdose victim has got a pulse. He's breathing on his own from the Narcan we've given. The students are surprised by the variety of medical supplies available on the plane and in its medical kits, like the intubation kit for the patient who's quit breathing, or the AED defibrillator for the patient suffering a heart attack and not responding to CPR. Most kits um, in an emergency medical kit on most major airlines have enough stuff on board to wear um, a patient can be stabilized, traumatic injuries can be stabilized long enough to either divert to the closest airport or to carry on to your destination and have an EMS crew rendezvous with you at the gate and take them to definitive medical care. But this isn't a hospital with endless supplies. I mean, you have to get creative in some of the things that you need to do in order to provide medical services um, in flight. Like using one of those in-flight magazines as a splint for the woman who suffered a broken leg during turbulence, or finding a sharp object to serve as a scalp with a slice open a neck and perform a tracheal and then there's the passenger who's freaking out. I think it's new. It's this new hat, this new shirt. It just itches everywhere. With the students figuring out he's suffering from an allergic reaction and going into anaphylactic shock, he needs a shot and gets it. For these medical students, this night is an invaluable lesson. And so something like this is really, really a great opportunity, especially for someone like me. I'm interested in emergency medicine, and so something like this is not something we're exposed to very often. I think it could for sure happen. I mean, we had several doctors that were actually on the plane helping us out, and it's happened to them multiple times. So uh, hopefully it doesn't, but I definitely feel a little bit more prepared if it does.